Stevenson and we're back with Welcome to Wing Chun and we are in session 12 now. Um, so we're going to come back to our footwork, um, as we said, a couple of, you know, we're sort of building up those basic building blocks of what we need to be able to do Wing Chun and that's uh, having some basic stance, learning the basic postures, striking um, and then the next one is how to do that whilst we're moving, so stepping, moving, applying. Um, our techniques uh, and this is called footwork. So we introduced the arrow step, arrow forward and arrow back and now we're going to look at turning, okay, so how to turn uh, in, the, uh, in the fighting stance. So just to review, feet together, right fist, left palm, bend your knees, open out once, twice, Th throw out double punch, turn to the left. Yeah? And now we're in our fighting stance. So as I said before, about 60-40, um, 70-30, uh, weight forward to back. You can be up to about shoulder width wide, but we're going to be losing sort of a narrower stance today. And hands out in front. Um, and as before, when we do the arrow step, we set and punch, hands and feet together. Yeah? Remember that you can practice it forward and back, just with the feet first, and then you can put the hands in, and so that you're always applying feet and hands together, hands and feet together. So um, techniques are applied with stepping or turning footwork, okay? So how do we turn? So um, we've introduced the idea of the, of the turning stance, so we're, we're turning 45 degrees, yeah, and moving forward in this on this angle, okay? But what happens if somebody's coming from all the way behind me? Or more practically at the beginning, when I've run out of space and I want to turn around and come back the other way, okay? So this is the turning stance. Um, so, sorry, no, this is, this is a full body turn. Okay, so what I want you to do is from this position, you shift your weight back onto your heels, and then again, it's like you've been grabbed, and you do a 180 turn, pulling your waist all the way around, and, and you take, turn to face the opposite direction. Yeah? So if we start from this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, good. And with the hands, what you're going to do is you're just going to, the hands come straight across, right? So roll them, wham, swing the arms around in a big arc like this. You're just going to fire them straight out in front of you. Yeah, so hands in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. And now, because we've got that move, we can do a little bit more with our footwork, yeah? So when we do our arrow steps, we can do arrow forward, arrow forward, arrow forward, and now we can turn. Arrow forward, arrow forward, arrow forward, arrow forward, turn. Arrow forward, arrow forward, arrow forward, arrow forward, turn. Arrow forward, arrow forward, arrow forward, arrow forward, turn. Turn, arrow back, arrow back, Arrow back, turn, arrow back, arrow forward, turn, arrow forward, turn, arrow back, arrow forward. Good. Excellent. So you can see that just with those three moves we've got there, the arrow step, arrow forward step, the arrow back, and the turn, we can start to freestyle and basically do a kind of Wing Chun version of, of shadow boxing where you've got an imaginary opponent who's stepping forward, forward, back, turn turn, back, new opponent, step back, step forward, yeah? And you can start to link up and apply those moves in a more free, more organic setting. And I think this is an excellent drill. Um, you're learning how to step, you're coordinating your upper and lower body together, and you're moving in, a, in, a, in um, you know, an effective Wing Chun way, and then you can speed it up and make it fast and dynamic and real speed and real pace. So it meets a lot of the things that we like to see in our training. Good. As always, uh, practice, practice, uh, have a go. First of all, drill the turn by itself and then start linking in with arrow steps forwards and backs and get a friend to call out for you or just do them in any sequence that you want, right? First, slow, get the technique right and then build up the pace. Practice, practice, see you next time.